we're now going to talk about what is considered as an assembly of people. To put it simply, if a person is unable to move around freely and would be unable to move out of the way of an out of control unmanned aircraft, this would be considered as an assembly of people. There's no set quantity of how many people qualify as an assembly of people, it's all based on the ability for an individual to be able to move around freely. We'll look at this in detail in the next lesson as we move on to the regulatory documents. But inside one of the documents, which is known as the Air Navigation Order, there's a regulation called Article 241. You'll hear this article mentioned a lot when we're dealing with air law, so it's worth remembering this article number. Article 241 states that if you endanger a person by being negligent with your unmanned aircraft, you may be breaking the law. So basically, if the category for your drone states that you cannot overfly an assembly of people or you need to stay a set distance away from an assembly of people, then you must do so in order to keep everybody safe. To get you thinking about what could be considered an assembly of people, the CAA have given us a number of examples. These are as follows. Sport, cultural, religious or political events, so large crowds gathered together. Beaches or parks on a sunny day, as you know, on a sunny day some beaches and parks can become very crowded. Commercial streets during the opening hours of the shops, so the CAA aren't saying that you can't fly down all streets, however they have said that a busy commercial street would have lots of people compacted into one area and could be classed as assemblies of people, and more likely uninvolved people. Another example they've provided are ski resorts, tracks and lanes. Now this isn't an exhaustive list, it's just to get you thinking about what could be considered an assembly of people. Remember it's all about an individual being able to move freely out of the way from an out of control unmanned aircraft. So if a person does not have a clear escape route, it's likely that those persons would be classed as an assembly of people. <laughs>